Okay, so we're going to start in and uh, going to do an overview of the topics that will be covered uh, in this introduction to Spring course. So um, we're going to do an overview of Spring and what Spring is. Um, we're also going to talk about exactly what the Spring framework is and uh, why you want to use it largely. We're going to talk about Spring in the context of inversion of control and IOC container. Uh, then we're going to talk about Spring injection uh, and specifically dependency injection um, and the uh, capabilities there. We'll have a lab there. And um, we'll keep moving and talk briefly about resources and what, what is a resource exactly as opposed to a bean. Uh, we'll talk about vi validation and binding, uh, aspect-oriented programming, uh, something that will be very interesting. Um, it has a lot of uh, applicable uses. Um, and uh, also then we'll kind of do a quick survey through of some other additional projects uh, within the Spring framework of interest uh, and capabilities of Spring, kind of some of the key things. So moving on. <clears throat> By the end of this course, your, the objectives, or excuse me, the objectives of the course are you should be able to define Spring and it, describe its advantages. Uh, you should be able to define dependency injection and understand the code impact uh, that that has. Um, you should be able to configure dependency injection in Spring and design classes in such a way to support dependency injection. Um, also, just configuring beans in Spring and configuring beans in multiple ways. Um, at least several of the ways that are supported by the fr Spring framework. Uh, next, you're going to want to be able to, we, you should be able to access uh, resources from Spring. Um, usually that's going to be in the way of accessing a file or a property file or a data, data source or something like that. Um, you should be able to define aspect-oriented programming, some of the terminology around it, and uh, have an idea of when you might use it and how you might use it. Uh, also, you should be able to list several associated Spring projects and also um, be generally aware of some of the other uh, capabilities of the Spring framework um, that are not part of the core. So um, we are already set up for our Hello World lab with Maven and um, have it all set in Eclipse, uh, up in Eclipse. So at this point in time, um, we're going to start and uh, do the lab. And I'm um, going to take about 15 or 20 minutes for that. Thank you. Please stand by. 